Hey, today we are checking Pico 5.11 update, which has hand tracking support and a support for a new full body trackers. So finally I can start and use my headset without controllers using just my hands. I have been waiting for this feature so long. All gestures are very snappy. I do enjoy browsing through the Pico S using just hands now. But I cannot say the same about using hand tracking in Steam VR. Like why my hands are shown as controllers. My hands has wrong pointer angle as many gestures are just broken. The same deal in VR chat. I can use hand tracking to navigate around. Everything looks fine, yeah? Well, you saw. I'm triggering multiple actions at once. I can lock hand actions and do only gestures. Still the hand tracking is very wonky and it is limited to way smaller area just in front of my headset. Way smaller than the area on my quest for example. At least there is no accidental menu opening with pinching fingers. But still pinching is very buggy and all hand tracking experience is just not good in Steam VR and VR chat. You can grab objects with your hands, but again, it is very buggy and it triggers all kinds of, of accidental gestures. It is basically unusable in games. Screw this. So yeah, you can see actual hand tracking is still very bad for any game, just like the full body tracking. Many we are asking if beta trackers still work with the new software. Well, they kind of do work in a compatibility mode, which means basically the same old crappy tracking. It may not look that bad if I'm just kicking my legs, but Ok, I have my Panda and Pico trackers all at once and it's actually a perfect example to show how Pico trackers don't align with my real body because we still have no body scaling. So of course the tracking will be bad. It is very laggy because of the AI estimation and it breaks apart almost instantly as I sit on the floor my body starts to float because my real body proportions do not match. So I can kick with my legs and sit on a chair. And that is the most these trackers allow. I can go down on my knees, down on one hip, and all tracking and estimation completely goes insane and twist my body like a devil. So body tracking is no good either. It does not even work in the most games outside the VR chat. You see I have my trackers on. But they are simply not recognized in most of the PC games. And this is the issue with the Pico Connect. So even if you buy the new trackers, there is this huge compatibility issue. And for this reason, I will keep using my Panda trackers. By the way, I got these custom made cases just for me from a soft comfy plastic and these super detailed cover designs from our sponsor GLC 3DP is doing online 3D printing with all these fancy materials. I have a cheap Alcate resin printer, but why I would even bother when I can do all my resin prints? at GLC 3DP with no mess and stinky printing. So I have put my Panda trackers on and look I have one to one perfect tracking. ERP all day long. I love these trackers, they work on my Pico and Quest and PC VR. I don't need to worry about the resets unlike with my old Slime VR trackers. So I will leave a link for Panda trackers in the video description. And look, my fingers are tracked and not anymore. 
if I try the same with just two fingers. This makes no sense and many hand poses are just this weird and buggy mess. Years behind the tracking even of the most basic West 2. Again, this is just weird and nowhere near even close to being ready to be used in games. Che cazzo! Again, you can see pinching gets bugged so easily in games. And compare hand tracking with a quest. Look, I can extend my hands all the way to the sides. And my hands are still tracked. Panda body trackers are working perfect. And with this quality of hand and body tracking on my quest, you probably get why I'm not making any new Pico videos, as I have not been using the headset for months. Quest Pro has become so much better headset, with many updates this year. I have full body tracking, good hand tracking, even my face is tracked. I can use apps without closing the game, open multiple windows, like I'm on some fancy Vision Pro headset. Use pass-through on all Quest headsets, including even the lowest Quest 2. And I can hear the Pico 4 crying in a corner. You need to buy the new expensive Ultra headset to get the most basic features. And even the hand tracking and body tracking is just not on par with the Quest or body trackers like Panda. So yeah, I'm really disappointed with the lack of updates on the Pico 4 and I think my headset has been collecting dust for months now. Maybe I have been still expecting improvements and updates, but after two years it is clear it is time to give up on the Pico. Rest in peace. I will be selling my Pico 4 headset and definitely not wasting any money on the new expensive Ultra model. It does not matter how good the hardware is if the software is outdated and lacking in features. It won't be able to compete with any Vision Pro or even the basic Quest 2 for that matter. Again, I'm running the latest Pico software with all the features that we are made for this official September launch. So, leave your comments below what you think about this update and current Pico situation. As I have mentioned, for me, Pico can rest in peace. They have failed, there won't be any second chances. The hand tracking has been promised and advertised for two years. Showing games like the Air Guitar Unplugged since the Pico 4 launch. These motion trackers advertised again for the whole two years with the Just Dance exclusive and all these games cancelled. The new headset is so underwhelming with possible joke pricing costing more than even the expensive Quest 3 with features and especially software way worse than the same Quest 3 and a lack of new games lack of updates even for the old games, shitty software support even in Steam VR. I mean, Pico has been great when the Quest had even worse software, but Meta has fixed most of their bugs this year, and it's the Pico which is struggling now and feeling way worse and outdated.